Hello and welcome to my uh, first video playthrough of my ARC, A Clone of Your Own, number 453091. This is the contact, Dr. Mephit, and he is uh, sending you to go after a bunch of freak show who has taken his research. He worked with them for a little bit and uh, He's not exactly telling you what it is, but just by the title of the arc, I'm sure you can tell that there's going to be some clones. And I originally made this arc as one of the first, um, during Going Rogue Beta, to test the doppelgangers in the MA. This is the first clone that you fight. It's in all black. I've rewritten this arc a, a few times since publishing it. Hopefully it's uh, a lot funnier. All the the clones have some jokes that they shout whenever they're running at low health. And as far as the, all the clones go, I know that uh, ever since they released the doppelgangers for the MA that they have become a popular uh, theme in a lot of these player made arcs, but I, I hope to try and give it a good humorous twist and uh, just kind of throw some fun in there and while you're off fighting your clones. And this is a clone to which I used random powers for all of the clones and this one happened to get as, a, as its random power in vulnerability and in jitsu. So its only attack power was Caltrop, and it decided to run all over the map. And I spent 10 minutes chasing the clone up and down the map all over the place. So I just figured I'd go ahead and turn it into a Benny Hill scene. I think it's pretty funny. Of course, it, it wasn't that funny whenever I was playing it. It was just annoying. You can see that he just fired off, that she just fired off a smoke bomb from her ninjutsu. Which, that's one of the few downsides of using the random powers on all of the clones. Occasionally, you'll get just completely ridiculous combinations that don't make any sense. But the upside of it, which is why I used it, is because the uh, random power clones means that it's a different arc every time you play. And now we're going into the second mission, where Dr. Mephit tells you about the freak show that, w that he was working with, the uh, more or less leader of them. Those freaks were supposed to be holding explosives, but I guess that didn't show up because of the, those particular freaks all had hammers for hands, so it didn't work with that model of freaks. And then whenever you save this defective clone, uh, she starts attacking you. And there with the, the mace you can see again the random power cells. This one has the shield, and once again, this this looks like it is another clone that has two defensive power sets together: shield and invulnerability. And now this is one of the um, lab equipment to destroy. And this is a clone pod, which is another piece of equipment that, um, that you need to destroy. And then here, this is the one smart clone, which has a unique speech pattern, which I gave him 
which hopefully is not too annoying. I kind of based it on the uh, fan-made Mega Man movie, the Dr. Wily in that, which I thought his accent was totally over the top, but totally fun as well. And now, one of the things that uh, that Dr. Wily freak mentioned is that you shouldn't trust Dr. Method in the first place. And so, this dialogue is mostly an interior monologue about how you realize that you shouldn't trust him as well, and you're going back to his lab and destroy all of his notes. And now here we are in, in Dr. Method's lab. You can see him writing notes surrounded by his failed experiments. Um, I've got some Rula Rula in there and some Banish Pantheon. Uh, there's some Hydra at lower levels. And then here you see the, uh, I even call him the Wily Freak. Here, based on that. He was there to, to try and get back the nose, and there you see how he has a, a self-revive, like many of the freak show do. And then this is where Dr. Mephit turns on you, which I've tried to do it several different ways, but with the way the betrayal works in the Mission Architect, I decided that this was the most useful way to do it. And then this is the the final clone. This is the perfect clone, as it's called. And you can see that it's an exact copy with the same power sets. And now that issue 19 is out, it It'll even copy the uh, the new power sets, the kinetic melee and the uh, electric control. And there you have it. 